Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're taking a look at some amazing iOS features that actually most users don't use. These are like a bit more advanced features that you need to take advantage of and it will enable you to do a lot more on your iPhone. Now we're starting things off by going to the settings and to the focus modes. Now did you know that you can actually schedule which lock screen you want to use on a particular time of the day or based on your location. And to do that, all you have to do is just create a new focus mode. Tap on custom. You don't need to add anything, any filters here. Just make sure you add the name here. And once you have done that, you go ahead and tap on next, tap on customize, and you don't need to add any apps or any people here. Just go ahead and choose your lock screen. So if I choose this one right here and tap on the dumb button, now I can go ahead and add a schedule. Now once I go here, I can pick a time of the day or a location where I want to use this lock screen. So if I say I want to use this lock screen maybe when I'm at work or at school, I can just go ahead here and pick any location I want or set a certain time and days of the week when I want to use this certain lock screen and that will be enabled automatically. Now you can see it says from two, which means that between these hours, it will be that lock screen and then it will automatically switch to the old one. Now while on Safari, if you have a bunch of tabs open, of course you don't wanna bother closing them one by one. All you have to do is swipe here and tap on the search tabs right there and you will see a cancel button. Now just tap and hold that cancel button. You can see it shows you a menu here from where you can close all the tabs that you have open as easy as that. Now when we want to export contacts from our iPhone, mostly we will use third party apps. But there is a feature on iOS that allows us to do that and it's very easy. Just go to your list of contacts, whether you go to the phone app or to the contacts app, it will be the same. Just 3D touch on that list and all you have to do here is just tap on the export button and you will be able to actually export all of these contacts that are on that list. So you can choose what you want to include here. So mobile phone numbers, main numbers, photos, first names, everything you want to include, and then just tap the dumb button and you're good to go. You can now go ahead and export these contacts, of course, save them to your files or just share them anywhere you want. Now, this is probably one of the most useful features of the mail app, but a lot of people don't actually use this. So if you need to send an email, let's say maybe later today or tomorrow, you don't need to remember yourself about it. All you have to do is just schedule that email, type the email you need to send, and then just tap and hold here the send button and it will give you a few options. Send tonight, send on Monday, or if you tap on send later, you can actually pick any time you want, any day you want in the email will be automatically sent on that time that you set here. Now, sometimes you will get an email on your iPhone, but maybe it's at a certain time of the day when you actually don't have the time to reply or read that email. Well, with iOS, all you have to do is just swipe on that email and you will get a remind me button. Now, this allows you to remind in one hour, remind tonight or remind tomorrow, or you can just tap the remind me button and now you can just choose any time of the day and of course, any date you want and it will remind you of that email at that certain time which is again a super useful feature to have. A lot of people don't know about this, but you can actually convert files within the files app of iOS. So let's say I have a picture here. What I can do is actually convert this file. I can tap on quick actions right here and I can actually create a PDF out of that image or just tap on convert image. And it will give you a few different options here, which you can actually use to convert that file. So we can go ahead and convert to three different formats from this. And again, even choose the original size or choose any other size we want. And automatically, just like that, the files app of your iOS device will convert the files for you. Now, when you dictate with the iOS keyboard, you can of course dictate words, but you can also dictate emojis. So let's just try that out. Test message, crying emoji. And as you can see, just like that, it automatically re actually replaces the word with that emoji. As soon as you say emoji, it will find the accurate emoji for that phrase and replace it with the emoji. 
The Notes app is probably one of the most used iOS apps and it's actually great with the latest features that Apple has added. It has made it an amazing app. But did you know that you can actually lock it using your Face ID? So just go ahead and go to Settings, go to Notes, and you'll go to Password right here and this allows you to actually choose a custom password or the device password. Now if you use the device password then you will be able to actually enable Use Face ID. That way you can lock any note you want with your Face ID without having to set a passcode for each of your notes. Here's another great feature of iOS. On the lock screen of your iOS 16 device, if you have the battery widget, you can actually pick which of your devices will be shown right there. You can even have, of course, multiple battery widgets and change the devices on them so you will have all the devices displayed right there. So here I have my iPhone, the one right here, but what we can do is tap on it and right here where it says automatic, you just turn it off and then go ahead and pick your devices. So here I can display my iPhone or choose to display my AirPods case or if I have the AirPods in my device connected, I can go ahead and even show the AirPods battery. On the music app of iOS, you can sort your playlists. So you go to the playlist that you wanna sort. So here I have a playlist. All I have to do now is tap the three dots right there and I can go ahead and sort by. So it gives you a few different options. So you will have the title, you will have the artist album and the release date of the songs and you can pick each of them and just actually sort your songs on a certain playlist any way you like. On iOS, you can send messages with Siri, but it will ask, ask you to actually confirm that. It will read the message to you. That will take some time. But if you go to settings and go to Siri and search, you will have here an option that actually allows you to automatically send messages. So you enable it right here and it will send the message quickly without Siri asking you to confirm before you do that. So you turn this and once you say to Siri, send a message to someone, it will automatically send it. You can also set the speed rate of Siri, so how fast Siri talks to you. So you go under settings, under accessibility, find Siri here, and you will find here speaking rate. Now the default will be of course at the 100% mark here, but you can go ahead and change that if you want to be faster, or you can even make it slower, which will be at 80%. Now this trick right here is really cool. If you see somewhere an email or a phone number, whatever that is, and you need to send maybe a message or an email to that person, you can just take a screenshot as easy as this, tap on the screenshot and then tap here on the text button. And here I have all the links, the email. And if I tap more, it will be some more options if there's a phone number or something like that. But if I tap here, it will automatically send me to the mail app and I will be able to send a mail to this account as easy as that. Now when it comes to screenshots, of course we all take a ton of screenshots and they will take a ton of space on the device. Now the best thing will be deleting those screenshots. But if you just take a screenshot, maybe to show someone something, send it to a message or on social media, you don't actually need to save it on your camera roll. You just take the screenshot and then all you have to do is tap the dumb button and you will have this option right here, copy and delete. The screenshot is now copied to your clipboard. You can paste it and send it anywhere you want, but it will be deleted so it's not saved under the camera roll of your device. You probably know that you can copy and paste edits that you make on the photos of your iOS device. But if I edit this photo right here, let me just show you guys what we can do. So here we have a photo that has been edited. What we can do now is copy the edits, but you can see if I have a video here, all I have to do now is 3D touch on that video and I will be able to paste those edits from the photo to the video and from the video to the photo as well. So it makes it very, very easy for you to edit and have the same effects on photos and videos. Now here's a really cool feature of iOS. I don't know if you know about this, but if you add a bookmark from Safari and you add it of course to your home screen, which you can do from here at the home screen, this is very easy. What previously iOS used to do if I just add this from Safari, but I have let's say Chrome enabled as my default browser, the bookmarks you add from Safari would always open on Safari. But now if you add from Safari, but the default browser is another one, it will actually open it on the default browser that you have chosen. 
Now this is really cool right here. You will have the mic mode and you can use voice isolation now on the phone app. So this will show up on the control center once you initiate a call. Once you have done that, just reach for the control center, tap there and you will have a few different modes here. So you will have wide spectrum, voice isolation and the standard one, which is enabled by default. Use voice isolation and the quality of your calls will be much, much better. Now here's a very useful shortcut that you can create on the shortcuts app on your iOS device. Tap the plus button right here and add action and search for VPN. So here we'll have set VPN, tap on it and you can just go ahead and choose the VPNs here that you have on your device. I can choose any of them and tap the dumb button. Now I can have this shortcut to quickly enable the VPN anytime I want. Or what I can do is set this as an automation. So if I have an app for which I want to use the VPN every time I open it, I can just go ahead and create an automation right here and then choose app. So here we have app. You can just run immediately here, tap on actually here when it's open, choose the app, tap on done, tap next. And all we have to do now is search for that shortcut we just created so here we have set vpn and we're good to go now every time i open this app the vpn automatically enables and we're back into the settings app head on to settings go under accessibility and under touch here you will have tap or swipe to wake enable that button if you have a device with the always on display what this allows you to do is just swipe up on the device and it will with one step unlock your device not wake the screen and then swipe again to unlock your device to basically bring the device out of the standby mode and then unlock it with one swipe while you have this enabled it will automatically unlock the device and for the last one let's move into the battery section go to battery and battery health and charging and here we have clean energy charging now what this will do is that it will prevent your iphone to actually charge at the maximum speed because it will actually reduce try to reduce your carbon footprint and only actually select Effectively charge your iPhone when the basically the emissions are lower that way your iPhone will charge way way slower so of course this is a good thing maybe to have enabled but if you really need to have your iPhone charged as fast as possible make sure you have this turned off so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one